Good morning, judges, the opposition. We on the affirmative side strongly believe that Japan should lower the age of adulthood to 18 because it will bring about two important advantages. These are democracy and safety. First of all, we would like to present our plan. We treat those who are 18 and 19 just as well as adults, which means that we give them the same rights and obligations as adults. Our plan will bring the following advantages to the Japanese society. A1. The first advantage is democracy. Under the democracy, fairness among generations and balance of rights and obligations have to be maintained. And also, we need to adopt opinions from as many people as possible. Our plan will enable us to achieve those things. At present, people aged 18 and 19 do not have the right to vote and their opinions tend to be ignored. According to the report published by Tokyo University in 2006, the rate of voting people in their, in their 20s is lower than that of people in their 60s. This clearly shows that the opinions of young people have relatively less influence on politics. They therefore tend to be ignored by politicians. When a plan is adopted, the voice of young people will carry more weight in politics. Moreover, a survey done by NetAsia Incorporated showed that 49% of people aged 12 to 18 answered that they would go to election if they received the right to vote, and that 55% parents answered that they had an interest if interested in politics. This clearly shows that 18 and 19 year olds will take part in politics when they receive the right to vote. If the voice of young people is made stronger, we believe that politicians will begin to regard their opinions with a similar level of importance as those of older people. Furthermore, many people under the age of 12, 20 are already making significant contributions to society. According to a September 2001 article in Hasaki newspaper, 30% of people aged 18 and 19 have, just like adults, already worked and paid income tax. If they are already contributing to society, surely then, they should also be given a say in how the tax is spent on their behalf. And we can adapt opinions from as many people as possible. For these reasons, Japan can achieve more democracy if 18 and 19 year olds are given the right to vote. 82. The second advantage is safety. Our plan will bring more safety to Japanese society. At present, people aged 18 and 19 are punished by juvenile law when they commit crimes. However, this system doesn't work as a deterrent. According to the Crime White Paper published by the Ministry of Justice, the criminal rate of juvenile is much higher than that of adults. This clearly shows that the juvenile law cannot work as a deterrent against crimes compared with the penal law. If our plan is adopted, we can make this country a safer place because the number of juvenile crimes will definitely decrease. According to the Crime White Paper of 2007, punished by the Ministry of Justice, published by the Ministry of Justice, the number of juvenile crimes decreased after the juvenile law was made stricter in 2001. It clearly shows that in Japanese juvenile law, the number of the juvenile delinquencies will decrease. Moreover, if we apply the penal law to people aged 18 and 19, we can exclude from policies those with fewer morals. For these two advantages, we strongly believe that the past should lower the age of adulthood to 18. Thank you for listening.
but influence the guarantor. Parents are likely to be guarantor of things, so parents will have to pay the debt and this will do harm to the poor family. This is a serious problem because it affects a lot of family members. But this advantage to losing chances to rehabilitate, losing chances to rehabilitate. Under state school, plus reformatory helps teens to rehabilitate, reformatory helps teens to rehabilitate. According to Sigmund Stendhal, professor of Tokyo University in case, reformatory helps help teens, teen, but the prison is not like that. That relates to the second offense rate and being able to rehabilitate or not. So it is difficult for a teen to rehabilitate from prison, too. <coughs> that was the second offense rate. The low second offense rate. According to Saikoshi, a lawyer quote, the second offense rate of reformatory is male, 10%, female, 6%, that the prison is 60%, unquote. Reformatory is keeping the low second offense rate, which is contributing to safety in Japan. 3. Real name report and criminal record. Real name report and criminal record. Criminals will be reported by real name, but will be eaten in the criminal record their whole life. This, this will make them difficult to go back in society. After France, teens can't be hurried at prison, which means second offenders will increase and they won't be accepted in society. This will cause a vicious fire. There are two important One, robbing of teens' future. Robbing of teens' future. It is important for teens to start their lives by habitating. Teens should be given the chance to habitate. Two, crimes will increase. Crimes will increase. Teens can be rehabilitated and more if they are sent to prison and crime will increase. Here is a proof from Asaka Mizu, a former examiner of Kwame Kod. Quote, Teens can be rehabilitated in the prison. This will increase serious crimes and risk bad society producing more victims. Here is our stance. This disadvantage as serious as bankruptcy and being unable to rehabilitate will cost teens' future. Once they fall, they are not able to break the vicious spiral. Therefore, we should pro protect the future of students before they fall. Thank you. Thank you, Stephen. Now you have one Please show us those. 
Uh, okay, I'll, 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 I'm, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, but listen, I'm so sorry, but let's go to the next question. Uh, how can you say that parents are a burden because of... Parents are directly to the guarantor of kids, so uh, parents... Excuse me, can you, can you speak more clearly? Because uh, I, can, I can't hear you. Parents are likely to be the guarantor of things, but parents will have to pay the debt, and this will do harm to the whole family. This is a serious problem because... Uh, okay, how, 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 can you, how can you say so? Uh, is there any evidence to support that idea? Mm. You don't have to, okay? You, you, you don't have to, right? I, th I thought you so you were not. The parents are likely to be the guarantor of things. Okay, you're going to have it. Um, Okay, the, 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 the point is, okay, the other point is, uh, for the 82, um, do you, are you aware of the fact that, um, when the revision in 2007, that the, the Juvenile Act uh, revision in 2007 actually, um, lets the, uh, lets the, uh, media to report the, uh, actual name, the real name, are you, uh, of the, of the juvenile, juveniles? Are you aware of the fact that um, they, yeah, in 2007 they revised the um, juvenile law so that they can, they can, media can report the real name of the juvenile um, offense offenders? I don't know. Okay, you don't know. Um, and are you aware of that um, um, there's a, 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 the possibility of rehabilitation for young offenders. Are you aware of the fact that there is a possibility? Thank you very much. Now you have to remember the prevention part. Okay.
five or forty-four five five percent of teens are interested in politics. So that means half of teens won't go to voting. And I want to move on to the, uh, in the in the advantage one, the the half of voters, half of teens who have voted right will waste the right. So it's not good. So and they want and import their importances. What we don't know what what and what. If the life, the teen's life would be good, and in advantage two, first, second offenders will increase because criminals can be rehabilitated in the prisons, and severe punishment increases crime. Severe punishment has the opposite of effect of decreasing crime. You know the example of that, such as Germany, America, Korea, and Britain. So, uh, how can I say that the proper balance of rights and obligations will not be created? Because the young people are only, teens are only 3%. 3% of what? Of all voters. All voters? You mean all qualified voters? Yes, yes. Thank you very much. Um, let's move on to the next. Um, so you said that more than half of um, those who are 18 and 19 will not go to elections, right? Yeah, yes. So you mean that um, as long as more than half of voters will waste their rights, so, uh, you mean, do you mean that it's useless to give your rights to vote? Yes, because only half of them use, use their rights. Okay. So you, you said that um, in Germany or Brokaw or some, okay. some other country like that, um, the restriction of uh, punishment um, was not effective. Um, well, why could you say that? Do you have any evidence of that? Yes or no? <coughs> yes or no? Um, could you answer? Do you have any evidence? Um, uh, we have evidence of severe punishment, increased, increased crime. Okay. Uh, according to Okay, I'm sorry, very sorry about showing that, so please let me move on to the next. So why can you say that it, those examples can be applied to this country, Japan? I think... I guess so. We have the of that severe punishment. So why those examples can be applied to the current situation of Japan? Science to strongly believe that Japan should lower the age of majority to 18 because what they said is absolutely, absolutely out of point. They say about two points financial problem and rehabilitate. They say that financial problem will occur after a plan is adopted, and they showed us the, the judge showed us and judges the number that I, I can't remember, but 3000 or something, and 3000 bank dropper will increase. But they didn't show us any evidence of the percentage. And uh, so it's just their personal opinion. <coughs> and second, they also said that um, the children were brought into parents, but they also couldn't answer our question. They didn't have any evidence. And it's also their personal opinion. Secondly, they say about the rehabilitation, and they have that. Uh, Actual name report, this is our actual name report, but they didn't know that Jumeirah Law is already changed in 2007. And it, it, will, it, was, it was made more easy to 
to broadcast on TV their face and their name. And they see an increasing number of crime. But in fact, according to our data and in 2008, uh, the percentage of serious crime is very high, such as murder and murder and robber. Uh, uh, the number, the percentage of second offense is higher, such as murder and lover. It's about 58 percent. It's very high, and they see about increased number of uh, crime. But you have to take reformatory. The juvenile law doesn't have death a penalty of death, and having death penalty of death is decreasing number of very serious crime. Thank you for listening.
Okay, first we stated that uh, the proper balance of rights and obligations will be achieved if we lower the age without the 18, give rights to both to those by 18 and 19. And to attack this, they say that it won't be achieved because only 30%, 30 um, those who are 18 and 19 account for only 30% of all qualified voters. But they misunderstood our point because it's not a matter of how many young people there are in this country. What we said is 30% of those for age 90 are already working and paying income tax just as well as adults. So, so they have obligations, but they, should, they are not given rights to vote. And then the go, we need to change. And secondly, they say that um, half of those for age 90 will waste their voting rights, so it's useless to give them rights to vote. But here's the evidence, it's been published by, uh, the report published by Tokyo University. It says that people in their 30s um, will vote elections. Uh, the voting rate of those by 30s is also 50%. Can we say that it's useless to give to people those who are 30s a uh, right to vote because half of them waste their rights? We can't say that. So it's, it's very meaningful to give them, uh, give those who are age 90, um, give them the right to vote because half of them answered that they will elections in the South. And currently they said that um, there was an example of failing um, restriction of uh, punishment in countries like America and Germany. But I think the data is old. I know that there was a restriction of punishment in America in the 1970s, but the data is old and can't be applied to the current situation in Japan. Look at this graph. This is the current record of uh, 2007. <coughs> it shows that currently Japan can uh, decrease the number of juvenile crimes by restricting punishment. So our data is more valid compared to theirs. Thank you for listening. Thank you, Mr. Now we stand for the activity test. Are you ready? You have 30 minutes to bring up the starting of the events. The disadvantage one says that uh, disadvantage one are too fun. And uh, as we show, as we have shown in our construct speech, this evidence is. Uh, this is from 20s have many financial pro programs, but think about it, which is more immature. Of course the teens are, so by this plan, there will be more people in trouble for sure. And but import, uh, importance in this advantage fund, they said uh, parents are, uh, they said importance in this advantage fund. It's it's natural that we think the parents will likely to be guaranteed, and but we want to disadvantage too. Um, sorry, back to disadvantage one's importance. It's naturally that parents will likely to be guaranteed of teens of teens because parents are uh, children are parents. So it is natural to think about it. And disadvantage two, they didn't attack to our uh, <coughs> plan. So if we introduce this plan, uh, the second rate of uh, the rate of second office, or as we show in our construct speech, the second rate of reformatory is ten percent, and listen is. 60%. So if we introduce if, if we introduce this plan, uh, second rate or six times them now. <coughs> and by this plan,